Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we are going to discuss the law of diminishing marginal utility. So friends, without further ado, let's get started. What is utility? Utility is the satisfaction which a person gets by consuming the commodity that he or she wants. Basically, it is the power of the commodity to satisfy human wants. It is also called as satiety. Utility is measured in terms of utils. So we have four characteristics of utility. Utility is subjective. Utility depends on individual's own subjective estimate of the amount of satisfaction he or she is likely to get from a commodity. Utility is not measurable. Because utility is a subjective phenomena, it cannot be measured in objective terms as satisfaction is immeasurable. Utility is variable. It is not absolute but relative concept because of its subjective nature. It is relative to a person's need. Utility of a commodity to a person depends on his intensity of desire for a commodity that is the greater the need the greater is the utility. Therefore utility varies from person to person, place to place and from time to time. Utility is not same as usefulness. Because commodities like wine and poison also have utility but they are not useful. So utility and usefulness are two different things. Further, there are two types of utility. Total utility and marginal utility. Total utility is the sum of utility derived from consuming different units of a commodity. That is, total utility is the total satisfaction of benefit a consumer gets from consuming a number of units of a commodity. Whereas, marginal utility is the additional utility derived from consuming additional units of the commodity. Moving on to the law of diminishing marginal utility. Intensity of desire for a commodity tends to decrease when additional units of commodity are consumed at a point of time. This is called as law of diminishing marginal utility. The law is given by Alfred Marshall. As per this law, marginal utility of a good diminishes as an individual consumes more and more unit of the good. In short, as a consumer takes more unit of a good, the extra utility or satisfaction that he derives from consuming extra unit of the good goes on falling. And a stage comes when the total utility gets maximum and at that stage the marginal utility becomes zero. If the consumer goes beyond this stage then the total utility starts falling and the marginal utility becomes negative. At this stage the good begins to harm the consumer and he starts getting this utility instead of utility. Therefore the law of diminishing marginal utility examines the relationship that how marginal utility consequently changes when there is an increase in the consumption of the good. The law is based upon three main facts. The first one is total wants of the consumer are unlimited but each want is satiable. That is why as an individual consumes more and more units of a good, the intensity of his wants for the good starts declining. And a point is reached when the individual no longer wants any more of the good. This point is called as saturation point and at this point the marginal utility becomes zero. The second fact is Different goods are not perfect substitutes for each other in satisfaction of various particular wants. When an individual consumes more and more units of a good, the intensity of his particular want for the good diminishes. But if the unit of that good could be devoted to the satisfaction of other wants and yielded as much satisfaction as they did in the beginning, in the satisfaction of the first want, the marginal utility would not have diminished. The third and last fact is, that there is no change in the taste of consumers. Further, it must be noted that the law of diminishing marginal utility applies to every ordinary economic good and every ordinary consumer. Now we will take an example to understand the concept of law of diminishing marginal utility. But first of all, we will understand the concept of total utility. With the given table, you can easily observe that total utility from consuming two cups of coffee has risen to 17 utils Although the second cup of coffee has made less addition that is 7 utils to the total utility. Further, as the consumer takes more cup of coffee in a day, his total utility continues to increase until the fourth cup. In this way, the total utility rises to 27 utils on consuming 4 cups of coffee. But if the consumer consumes more than 4 cups of coffee in a day, his total utility declines 
Hence, on drinking more cups of coffee, his total utility declines to 24 utils. As you can see in the figure itself, the maximum total utility is reached at this point and it remains constant at this stage. And when the next cup of coffee is consumed, it starts falling. Now we will talk about marginal utility. When the consumer consumes 2 cups of coffee in a day, his total utility increases from 10 utils to 17 utils. This means that the consumption of second cup added 7 utils to his total utility. Hence, marginal utility of the second cup is 7 utils. And as the consumer increases the consumption, the total utility goes on increasing until the fourth cup, after which the total utility starts declining and the marginal utility becomes negative. This implies that consuming more than 4 cups of coffee would give him displeasure. As you can see in the figure that on consuming the 5th cup, the marginal utility is 0 and when the consumer consumes the 6th cup, the zone of dissatisfaction is reached. Come let's understand the relationship between total utility and marginal utility. In the first stage, the total utility is increasing at a decreasing rate and the marginal utility is decreasing but positive. At the second stage, the total utility reaches its maximum point and remains stable that is it neither increases nor decreases and the marginal utility is zero. At the third and last stage, total utility starts falling and the marginal utility becomes negative. Moving on to the basic assumptions of the law of diminishing marginal utility. So there are two basic assumptions that we are going to discuss here. The first one is standard units. The law of diminishing marginal utility applies when there is a consumption of standard units. This means that there should be a consumption of one cup of tea, not one spoon of tea. Another assumption is that there has to be continuous consumption of the commodity. For example, if a cup of coffee is consumed today and another cup of coffee is consumed tomorrow, this won't be regarded as continuous consumption. So friends, this is all for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbi signing off.